Jeopardy. Thank you and welcome to Jeopardy. We have some highly talented contestants today, Mohammed Al-Ramadan, Taylor Beal, and Saleh al garad All three are Med Micro students at Ohio Northern University. Please welcome them. Our theme for tonight is slightly different than normal. It's Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Let's get started by looking at our categories. They are etiology, transmission, pathogenesis, diagnosis, and treatment slash prevention. This looks interesting. Mohammed, you may select first. Ideology for 100, please. The bacteria Rickettsia rickettsii and its common disease. Mohammed. So what microbe uh, causes Rocky Mountain spotted fever? Yes, that's correct. Congratulations. <laughs> please pick again. Ideology uh, 200, please. It is a gram-negative Cocobacillus bacteria. Soleil. Uh, what are some characteristics of Rickettsia rickettsii? Good. Ideology 300, please. A very small cell, only about 0.25 micrometers in diameter. Yes, Taylor? What is the size of Rickettsia rickettsii? Very good. Another question, please? Uh, transmission for 100, please. This tick bacteria is passed on by biological vector transmission. Yes? By what form is Rickettsia rickettsii spread? Good. Transmission 200. <laughs> and there's our daily double. You currently have $500 on the board. How much would you like to wager? Um, all 500 Alex. Okay, here's your clue. The bloodstream of the capillaries. Where does Rickettsia rickettsii specifically enter the body? Very good. <laughs> Pathogenesis for 100. A tick bites a human or is smashed due to improper removal. Yes, the leg? Uh, how does the Rickettsia Rickettsii enter the human host? Very good. Select again, please. Pathogenesis 200, please. The vascular endothelium is the spot for tick bacteria. Taylor? What structure separates the blood from the connective tissue? No, that's incorrect. What we were looking for was where does Rickettsia Rickettsii specifically enter the body? Salib, choose again, please. Treatment and prevention for 100. Tweezers enhance proper removal, and disinfection should follow. Uh, Muhammad. How should ticks be removed if you, from human skin? Good. Pick again. Diagnosis 100. Subcutaneous rash, fever, and dehydration. Yes, Taylor? What are the clinical symptoms of Rocky Mountain spotted fever? Good. Transmission for 300. The saliva of the tick in which it resides. Yes, Taylor? In what substance does Rickettsia rickettsii live inside a tick? Very good. Let's take this time to meet our contestants. Now, Mohammed, I understand that you're a student at Ohio Northern University. Is this correct? It is what it is. Oh, how, how do you like that class? It, it is fine. Um, I mean, um, what, on structure, what's his name? What's his name? Um, Isaac Anderson? Yeah, that's his name. He's a jolly and a fine chap. Great. Now, Taylor. Before the show, you were telling me of an encounter you had while you were hiking. Yeah, a few weeks ago I was hiking in the woods, um, and then a few days later I had a rash and fever and dehydration. It turns out I had Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Oh, interesting. Let's get back to our questions. Taylor, you were last. Please select again. Diagnosis for 200. None really. The widespread rash that forms under the skin is unique to this disease. Yes, Taylor? What physical signs does Rocky Mountain spotted fever share with other diseases? Very good. Diagnosis 300. An indirect immunofluorescence test is the principal diagnostic test for detecting it. Yes, Soleil? What tool are used uh, to diagnose Rocky Mountain spotted fever? Good. The board is yours. Treat it for 300, please. Repellents containing DEET or permethrin. Uh, Soleil? What substance uh, did you take from attaching to him? Good. Pick again. Pathogenesis uh, 300. The bacteria live intracellularly, thus avoiding antibodies. Mohammed? 
how does Rukatia Rukatia avoid um, house defenses? Good. Pathogenesis for 500. They don't, as they are unable to be transmitted human to human. They are only carried by ticks. We were looking for how does Rakettia Rakettiae exit the human host? Pathogenesis for 400. Increased vascular permeability leads to fluid loss and capillary damage, causing a rash. Taylor? What damage does Rakettia Rakettiae cause to the host? Right, very good. Excellent. We'll take a short break now and finish the round when we return. Hello, I'm Dr. Scott McKay, a veterinarian with Drs. Foster and Smith. Doxycycline is an antibiotic commonly used to treat many different bacterial infections, especially those carried by ticks such as Lyme disease, ehrlichiosis, or Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Doxycycline is offered as a tablet or a capsule and is given by mouth. It may be given with food to decrease possible GI upset. Possible side effects of doxycycline include nausea and vomiting. You may try offering your cat water flavored with tuna or another liquid your cat likes. For small mammals, try fruit juices. Do not use milk. Welcome back to Jeopardy. I have some unfortunate news. During that commercial break, our sponsor decided to discontinue his investment in our show. Therefore, we will have to jump to Final Jeopardy right now. The antibiotic doxycycline in 100 milligram doses every 12 hours for adults. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. Three-way tie. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us and have a nice evening.